Viral, nigga! So, how are you guys doing today? I'm on the phone with my mama. Say hi, mama. Hi, guys. Show your face. Nope, I look like Philly. You could, you could pull a titty out or something for me? <laughs> no, get out of here, boy. You ain't trying to go viral on the ground and get some Insta <laughs> Instagram clout? Not for that. Come on, come on, man. Come on, bro. You're not gonna give me any clout, bro? Come on, bro. No, you let me get some clout. You the one with the clout token. Let me get some clout. Let me see, let me see some cake, man. Come on. Let me see some you cake. Let me get some clout. I know you got some fucking cake, man. Come on, man. Stop playing, man. <laughs> I know the milkshake bring all the boys to the yard. You know what I mean? You're so stupid. <laughs> come on. Put, show your face. Come on. Get some clout. No, I look like ceiling. Come on, man! Oh, Stop fucking playing, mom! Oh my god. Come on, mom. And hey boy, come on from a fool. Come on, mom. Stop with your fucking bullshit, mom. Stop! <laughs> I fucking hate you, mom. <laughs> you know, I've known for doing all. I fucking hate you, mom. You're always being fucking difficult. I don't want to fucking deal with you anymore. Oh my god. Fuck, man. <laughs> Fucking tired of your bullshit, mom. You are a Mishnoon. What the fuck is that? Mishnoon is crazy in Arabic. You know what's crazy? Mishnoon, hmm? And Jen's poems. Oh shit, I, f I got a booger. Oh, ew. Here, Papa, you wanna eat my booger? That's so <laughs> I'm not gonna give him a booger, ew. On so many levels. Okay, so hold on. So, hey guys, um. I am just putting up a quick vlog just to check in uh, right now. I am finishing up my clothing brand. I'm trying my best to stay out of trouble and not be on the internet as much. Um, obviously, as you guys can see, the other day I got hacked and that bullshit was posted about Drake online. But, I mean, you know how it goes. Um, so, really, this is just kind of me checking in and telling you guys about a sense of direction. So, what you can expect from me, obviously, very soon is my album. Um... I'm doing a clothing, I'm making a clothing brand, because obviously you guys know I was working with a partner before, and unfortunately, uh, you know, due to time, people change, people change, priorities change, um, and the way people kind of treat you also changes once they get what they want. Um, I think that's enough said with that situation. Um, so what you can expect from me is my clothing brand, Bad Vibes Forever. Now, with... I mean, to kind of explain what Bad Vibes Forever is, just as a whole, um, it's actually the opposite. I put Bad Vibes on my face because I want to deter anyone that basically has this preconceived notion. I don't like people that make preconceived notions about people. I don't like people that are very... How can I say it? I mean, one like one track minded, and when you like, all right, when you when you see someone and you immediately judge them, those those aren't the people I want to attract. I don't want to attract people that look at me and think I'm an idiot just due to how I look. I don't like people that are just kind of bland. So, um, Bad Vibes Forever in itself is basically, it's like to deter all of the people that obviously won't be a part of the cult, that won't be a part of this following that we have and that don't have the mind for that. So when you see Bad Vibes Forever, someone of a typical mind would probably look at it and be like, hey, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to I don't want to be a part of that. I'm not with bad vibes, but if you look further in, you'll understand it's the exact opposite. So, um, I mean, when I distribute the clothing, it's gonna come in boxes, um, is, which is gonna, it, you'll, you'll see. I'm going really, 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 really hard with the brand. Um, however, it's gonna be very expensive. I'm letting everyone know from now because it's not, it's not typical. It's not typical, it's not, like, I mean, it's not superb, but due to, in due time, it'll be superb. But I'm, I'm putting a lot of energy into it. I'm putting a lot of energy. Um, I'm going to be marketing it a lot. Um, like I said, it's going to be very expensive just due to the fact that like, I'm putting a lot of work into it. And I'm dealing with a lot of different graphic designers and visual artists. And obviously, they deserve to be paid for their artwork. So um, I am recruiting uh, different visual artists. So if you think you're a good visual artist or you're a good graphic designer and you know how to work I mean, if you know how to work a fucking, um, if you want to know how to work Photoshop, I'm recruiting people, so it would be ideal now, uh, definitely is the time to hit me up and to work with me if you want to, so, 
Um, that's kind of where I am. I know I said I was going to vlog a lot, but I've been in my head a lot, so I haven't been able to really kind of be as active. Um, but now I'm in a good headspace. Um, I'm working as much as possible. So expect clothing brand, um, album. Um, I'm obviously going to probably go on tour very, very soon. Um, I'm just waiting for them to take the ankle monitor off. They said they were only going to keep me on the ankle monitor for like two months. I don't want to, but I don't want to go over my court case too much. But I'm not uh, supposed to be on the ankle monitor much longer. Um, and yeah, I mean, like I said, if you guys ever want to speak or if there's ever anything that you want to say to me or even just to vent, you can use my, obviously, my Instagram DMs or my Twitter DMs or, or my Tumblr. Come in. See you in 30 minutes. Got you. Vlogging right now. Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, you guys can use my Instagram DMs, uh, Twitter DMs as a journal you can use it as a journal you can put your thoughts in there um whatever you want to say to me you just use my energy as someone to to vent to and someone to rely on and someone to be attached to and someone to be someone to kind of support you you know uh, as a form of support and someone that you you not i mean you, you can use me for fun you can um well not use me but utilize me for fun you can utilize me as a shoulder to cry on, a lover, a friend, obviously, and in and, and any aspect that you need me, I can, my energy can be that. So try and utilize my energy as much as possible in a positive aspect, not in a negative aspect, but in a positive aspect as a, as a support system, period. Um, and I mean, that's, I really think that's it. I don't, I don't have much else to say. Um, like I said, I've been in a decent headspace. I've been a lot more silent, obviously, you guys know, but I'm being silent because my work is going to speak for itself. So, um, yeah, about being hacked, I want to issue an apology right now to Drake. That shit was not real. I'm not trying to uh, make any more enemies. I don't want to promote any bullshit. That's not what I'm on. My Instagram and my Twitter was hacked. Um, I immediately, once I saw it was hacked because I was laying down, I went back on, deleted it, announced that it was all fake. Um, and I mean, that's kind of where, that's kind of where I am. I don't want to make a bunch of enemies. I don't want to, I don't want to be on that. So, uh, I issue apologies to anybody that I do have, that I, I've had problems with. Um, I'm just trying to take care of my family, take care of my mom, take care of my, you know what I'm saying, my grandmas and the people I love just like everybody else. Um, and that's kind of where I am. If there's anyone that dislikes me for any specific reason, Every day, I mean, I'm 20 now. I was just 19. Every day I'm growing up. Every day I'm working on myself. And I think that's the most important part because there's a lot of things that I do want to change about myself. Even a matter of my impulse, just a lot of, a lot of things. So I'm growing every day and I do want everybody to know that you are on this journey with me. I'm trying my best to become the best me possible. Um, and that's, that is what you should be doing every day as well. Um, don't look at everything else as the problem. Look at yourself and see how you can change yourself to where nothing bothers you, to where you're unbothered about a lot of things and to where life doesn't exactly affect you in that manner. It's changing your perception that kind of changed the world around you because it's the small things that we don't appreciate. So in order to appreciate everything, you have to be very, very, very analytical. So in being analytical, you start to observe the world in a different manner. So even how you approach people, even how you move, even how you think, when you change the way you think, you change the way you perceive the world. So honestly, guys, I just wanted to check in, show you guys that I'm here, that I care. Um, and that's where I am right now. Uh, I mean, if this, uh, this doesn't have to get the utmost attention. This is just kind of me speaking to my support system, showing you guys I'm here, showing you guys I care. So I love you guys. Later. Oh, we don't.